Okay, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the National Park Service, I'd like to welcome you all out here to Fort Caroline National Memorial. It's part of the Timucuan Ecological and Historic Preserve, which is a 46,000 acre unit of your National Park Service. My name is Ranger Jeff Johnson. I'm the uh, Historic Weapons Supervisor for the Timucuan Preserve, and uh, we are going to be out here doing some historic weapons demonstrations for you. So, uh, first things first, safety. Uh, these weapons are not all that loud um, with the, the muskets, but we will let you know when to cover your ears and strongly suggest you do so. We're going to start off with the cannon today, and it's much louder. So when we say cover your ears, make sure you do that. And if you have little ones that can't cover their own ears, help them out uh, before covering yours, I guess. So, um, so just to begin with, <clears throat> we're going to fire the field cannon here. This is uh, also known as a grasshopper or field carriage, but it's a highly mobile uh, artillery piece that's designed to fire a, car, a canister shot. So basically a can full of a bunch of smaller little projectiles that'll come out and it's an anti-personnel weapon used right alongside infantry soldiers who are firing muskets. Um, range on these things, maybe out to a, about a mile, mile and a half if you're gonna fire a, a solid shot. But again, they're mostly gonna be firing uh, canisters. Um, roughly half the weight of the projectile in black powder is what you're going to use. So in the case of this three pounder here, you're going to use a pound and a half of black powder for a full charge. Okay. It's a lot of powder. A pound and a half is one and a half sticks of dynamite. <laughs> so, um, a little bit about what we're all wearing out here today. Um, we are dressed in 16th century European attire. The only way that you can tell a nationality is if your unit comes together and decides you're going to put something on like these red sashes to uh, mark yourself as part of the Spanish military. Uh, other than that, you have to listen to what's being spoken. In that vein, we are going to do a couple of different uh, types of weapons demos today, but all of them will be in either Spanish or French uh, in tradition with the language being used here at the side of Fort Caroline uh, in the 16th century. Still? Okay, without further ado, I'm going to hand it off to our cannon crew. We'll begin. Again, I'll tell you when to cover your ears. Artillero, formar una línea! Pulvera, atacador. Fuego. Saban, atacador. Adelante, al cañón! Preparados para el ejercicio. Bendíganos Santa Bárbara. Entre el sacatrapos en el cañón. Entre la granada y tapen el fogón. Apronten atacador y pólvora. Entren en el cañón. Ataquen. Seven.
Por los fuegos al cañón. Cover your ears. Fuego. Formar una línea. Muy bien. Victoria de Sargento. Sin novedad. Muy bien, regálense. ¡Viva España! ¡Viva! All right, so. That is the Spanish artillery demonstration. We're going to go ahead and move into the matchlock muskets. So uh, the matchlock muskets are basically uh, the gun in use by uh, the infantry soldiers in the 16th century. Uh, it uses a length of burning natural fiber rope that's fixed into this part here that falls into your powder. It will then transfer into the chamber to create the combustion to send your projectile downrange. There are a lot of hope fleas involved with this thing going off. They're notorious for misfiring. Um, and also they're notoriously inaccurate. So um, we're gonna run through a couple of drills, but just try to imagine that we are, uh, you know, getting ready to come over to the Nueva España and we're being trained on how to go through the many steps and stages of loading and firing this thing. So the first uh, demonstration will be just like as if these are new soldiers who are being taught how to do that. Uh, in Spain. So we're going to start with the Spanish and then we'll move to the French. Atención, armas al hombro, a la derecha, a media vuelta, adelante en marcha, soldados, alto, la mano derecha las armas, retiren las armas, save it. Saquen la baqueta. Alta y corten la baqueta. Ataquen. Retiren la baqueta. Meten la baqueta en su lugar. Retiren las armas. Toman la cuerda en la mano derecha. Soplen la cuerda. Pongan la cuerda en la serpentina. Proben en la cuerda. Presenten las armas. Cover your ears. Despairing. Retiren las armas. Toman la cuerda en la mano derecha. Soplen la casoleta. Armas al hombro. A la derecha, media vuelta. Adelante en marcha. Soldados, alto. 
Reágate, muy bien. ¡Viva España! ¡Viva! All right, ladies and gentlemen, and finally to round out our Fort Caroline experience today, I will take you through uh, what it would have been like uh, had I just arrived here um, at the Fort Caroline Colony, 1564, and I'm being <coughs> trained how to load and fire this uh, weapon as a French soldier, a brand new French soldier, okay? Portez vos arquibus et marchez. Enlevez vos arquibus et levez-les avec la main droite. Prenez vos arquibus dans la main gauche. Amorcez vos bassinets et fermez vos bassinets. Secouez vos bassinets. Soufflez vos bassinets. Passez vos arquibus du côté de l'épée. Ouvrez vos cartouches. Chargez vos arquibus. Tirez la baguette. Diminuez vos baguettes. Ouvrez vos chouchards. Tirez la baguette. Diminuez vos baguettes. Remettez vos baguettes en fond nu. Avancez vos arquibus dans la main gauche. Prenez vos mèches dans la main droite. Soufflez sous vos mèches. Armez vos mèches. Approuvez vos mèches. Présentez vos arquibus. Carriers. Bien. Abassez vos arquibus dans la main gauche. Prenez vos mèches dans la main droite. Soufflez vos bassinets. Portez vos antibus et marchez. Salut. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes this uh, historic weapons demonstration.